we are gonna go cover Officer Thompson. We're going to back him up. He got flagged down by a lady who I think told him somebody hit and run her car. So I guess we're gonna go try to uh, find the guy who hit her car. Mahigit isang taon pa lang si Officer Shane Hart sa pagiging patrol officer ng Dela City Police Department. Dati siyang U.S. Marines. Ang kanyang pagiging patrol officer ay hindi naging madali sa kanyang mga pagpapatrol ay malimit niyang sinasabing mahamog sa Dela City lalo na sa gabi. That was the thing that was really hard for me when I first started was trying to navigate the roads when it's really foggy because I was also trying to learn the streets and get oriented and the fog just disoriented me every night. Matagal bago na sa ulo ni Officer Shane Hart ang mga lugar ng kanyang pinapatrolyahan pero nang masanay ng paikot-ikot sa Dela City, tukoy na niya ang bawat sulok nito. It took me a long time until uh, until winter ended and the fog stopped a little bit before I was able to still find my way around in the fog. So I mean, I know without seeing the street sign, I know this is Westridge Street just because I've passed by here hundreds of times. But uh, at the beginning, like I said, it was, uh, it was a lot harder. Hindi madali kay Officer Hart na hanapin ang kinaroroonan ng kanyang partner na kanyang aalalayan. Maliban sa makapal na hamog, may kasama pa itong malamig na hangin. Nasa address na ng suspect si Officer Thompson. Nanaw na siya sa lugar matapos maibato ng 911 na mga impormasyon ng lisensyang nakarehistro sa kanilang database. There was some uh, lady that locked herself out of her car and she had a kid with her. He sent me a message and asked me to cover you so that he can give her and the kid a ride home to or whatever. Is name Jeffrey? Geoffrey or some shit like that? Geoffrey. Devos. Matapos matukoy ang pagkakilanlan ng suspect sa Central Communication System, agad pinuntahan ng dalawang patrol officer ang tinutuluyang bahay ng suspect sa hit and run. Police Department! Police Department! Hey, how's it going? Are you Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Are you Jeffrey? No. no. Jeffrey Hope. Is this 1095? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Does anybody else live here? Upstairs. Oh, uh, downstairs? That's a separate you know, unit? There's nobody Jeffrey. There's uh, Rick and uh, oh, Christian. Oh, Jeff, his other name is, uh, I think it's Jeffrey Richard D. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh like a I'm G sorry. That's him. Yeah, yeah. 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 How do we get to that address? Nangungupahan ng suspect sa isang unit sa ibaba ng bahay na itinuro at kinumperma ng kanyang mga kapwa renter. You want me to let you in by the garage now? Um, well, whatever it is. Did he call you? Did he call you? Is uh, everything alright? No, we haven't. Yeah, we just have to talk. Ipinagpaalam ni Officer Hart sa mga renter na kasama niya ang bitag team right along na nagdodokumento sa responding ito. We have a, I have a film crew with, with us that's riding along, so don't, don't be disturbed. Oh, we, yeah, we want. Um, you want to just have them open the garage? Yeah, I think isn't that what he's doing? Okay, thank you. If you can just have him open the garage, that'd be great. Thank you. Dahil sa ibaba ng bahay na nunuluyan ng suspect, pinabuksan ni Officer Hart ang garahe ng mag-asawang renter. Habang si Officer Thompson nauna nang pumasok sa loob ng bahay para hanapin ang kwartong inuupahan ng subject. Sa loob ng garahe, itinuro ng renter ang tinutuluyan ng suspect. Hindi sumasagot ang suspect. Rick, are you there? Dahil walang ingay mula sa loob ng kwarto, nagtanong na si Officer Thompson sa cell phone number nito na maaaring tawagan. Do you have his phone number? We've never had it. Our landlord would have it. Want me to call Zach? No. Walang numero ni Jeffrey ang mga co-renter ng bahay. Upang matiyak kung talagang nasa loob ang suspect, nagtanong na rin si Officer Thompson ng bintana ng maaaring buksan sa unit na nirerantahan nito. Is there any windows that go into this? Sliding last door. Nang wala pa rin sumasagot, nagpauna na si Officer Hart sa dalawang co-renter ni Jeffrey na ipapato nilang sasakyan nito kung hindi niya haharapin ng mga patrol officer. Well, his car is going to get towed if we don't if we aren't able to talk to him. Oh, well, why why is can I ask why? Well, yeah, if you look at it, it's all damaged. It's uh, smashed up and stuff. We can 
make sure he's okay. So, can, oh. can you get his cell phone number for us? Dahil wala pa rin tugon mula sa loob, sinabihan na ni Officer Hart ang mga kapwa renter ng suspect na sa pilitan nilang bubuksan ang unit nito. If we aren't able to have him answer the door, we're gonna have to kick the door in because we have to make sure that he's okay and still alive because the airbags are deployed on his car, his windshield is smashed, he was in an accident and it's parked here now, so he came home. Alright, so Naunawa ng babaeng kapwa renter ang punto ng mga patrol officer Pero tatawagan daw muna nito ang may-ari ng bahay Alright, so let me call the landlord before okay. I kick it in, okay? Okay, yeah, absolutely Habang tinatawagan ng babaeng co-renter ang may-ari ng bahay Inalam muna ni Officer Hart ang relasyon at pakikitungan ng suspect sa mga kapwa niya renter How close to you are you, are you to Rick? Oh, I've lived here, I moved out here from the uh, East Coast in 2007 And he's always lived downstairs from me I'm not very tight with him, but uh, I see him in the mornings when I leave him and okay. so on. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to force. Hindi pa rin nakakausap ang mga co-renter may-ari ng bahay. Nag-alala na ang mga patrol officer sa kalagayan ng suspects sa loob ng unit nito. We're going to have to get it soon because we need to make sure it's okay. Upang mabuksan ang kwarto ng suspect, nagtanong na si Officer Hart sa mga co-renter na mga gamit. Do you have a little pin or something? It just seems like something skinny, like a paper clip, like a little... Can he use his own tools to get into his room? Nang hindi umabra ang mga gamit, determinado na ang mga patrol officer na sirain na lang ang pintuan. Ito ay para matiyak na ligtas at maayos ang kalagayan ng kanilang subject. Rick, we're gonna kick the door in about one minute. We need you to open it, Rick. Mr. Devos, if you are in there, I would strongly advise you open the door. We just need to make sure you're okay. You are not in trouble. Natawagan ng mga nangungupahan ng may-ari ng bahay at ipinaalam ang sitwasyon ng isa sa kanyang mga renter. So, sir, if you get this message, please call me immediately. Okay? It's an emergency situation. Please. Dito, sa pilitan ng binuksan ng patrol officer ang kwartong tinutuluyan ng suspect. Sir, sir, wake up! Tulog ang suspect sa kanyang higaan. Pero para kay Officer Hart, nagpapanggap lang ito at nakikipaglokohan sa mga patrol officer. He just looked over at us. He's playing games. Rick, wake up! Dahil sangkot ang suspect sa hit and run, pilit na nila itong ginigising. Please, sir. Get out of bed. Come on. Come on. Put your hands behind your back, Rick. What's going on? Sa tono ng kanyang pananalita, parang wala siyang alam kung bakit may polis sa inuupahan niyang unit. Kaya naman, papiloso po rin sinagot ni Officer Hart. Sleeping? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. Para makompermang sangkot nga sa hit and run ng suspect, ipinalawanag ni Officer Thompson ang kanilang pakay. Kinumperma ito ng suspect. We've all been in an accident. We just wanted to make sure you're okay. Alright. Okay? Were you yes. in an accident? Uh, yes. Okay. Nakaposas na ang suspect na inilabas ng mga patrol officer. You okay? You need a medical? You need a medical? Right. Ipinakita rin sa suspect ang sasakyang nasangkot sa aksidente. May basag na windshield. Ang dalawang airbag sa driver's side at passenger's side nakalabas na. Nagpapatunay lamang na malakas ang pagkakabangga ng sasakyang. Idinaretso ni Officer Thompson ang suspect sa patrol car. Susunduin naman ni Officer Hart ang biktima pa positibong maituro ang lasing na suspect ng hit and run. You're not under arrest right now. You're just detained, okay? Alright. Thank you very much. Sorry, he's just, he's wasted. He's drunk. He got in an accident. You know, he could have killed somebody. And he's obviously drunk. And he was awake. He heard us the entire time. He was just playing games. Yeah. He's probably going to get a DUI and go to jail for the night. Or a DUI and hit and run. Um, thank you guys very much for your cooperation. I really, really appreciate it. Ayon sa mga co-renter, matagal nang umiinom sa kalapit na bar ang suspect kung saan nangyaring hit and run. He goes to the bar at the top of the hill there. I guess the bar. Okay, yeah, that's where the accident happened. You guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Officer Thompson was at, uh, he was over by Westlake Shopping Center, and the person flagged him down and said, uh, 
you know, somebody crashed into his car and then took off. They got the license plate number. That's what led us to this house. The, uh, Officer Thompson uh, checked the license plate number and found it was registered to this address. Right now we're going to get the victim whose car got hit by this guy and we're gonna pick him up, uh, bring him back over there and do what's called a field show so that he can, so that the victim can positively identify this guy as the suspect. And as soon as he does that, the guy will be placed under arrest for, for hit and run. Narat na ni Officer Shane Hart ang koreanong biktima na naghihintay sa parking lot na kanyang tinitirhan. Is your car the one that was hit? Yes. Okay. Kasama ang bitag team right along, kinuhanan ni Officer Hart ng letratong bahagi ng sasakyang nabangga. Yeah. Ipinaliwanag din ni Officer Hart na kailangan sumama sa kanya ang biktima para personal na tukuyin ang nakadetain na suspect. The guy we have may or may not be the guy who hit your car and left the scene. Just keep in mind that people can alter their appearance by growing or shaving facial hair, changing clothes, etc. But if you recognize him as the suspect who hit your car, then let us know. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Bug balik sa area. Nasa loob lang ng patrol car si Officer Thompson at ang nakaposas na suspect. Do you see out of that back window, man? It's him? Yeah. Positibong itinuro ng koreanong biktima ang subject. Agad itong ibinato ni Officer Hart sa Central Communications Center. 155, that's Nathan. Alright, I'm gonna bring you back home, okay? Matapos kumpirmahin ng biktima na ang sasmik nga ang nakabangga sa kanya, inihatid na siya ni Officer Hart sa kanyang tinitirhan. That guy was obviously the guy that uh, got his car hit. Basically, in order to be able to arrest the guy, we had to have the victim identify him as the guy that he saw smash into his car. And he did that. So Officer Thompson has arrested him now for hit and run. Most likely be going to jail for the night. Upang matukoy naging dahilan ng hit and run, isa sa ilan ng suspects sa field sobriety test. Now Officer Thompson's gonna be doing the, uh, the field sobriety test on the guy to see how drunk he is. So he's gonna be going through at least three tests. We'll have the guy blow in the, the breathalyzer and that'll tell us what his blood alcohol content is. So we'll see how he does. Ipinaliwanag ni Officer Thompson ang proseso ng sobriety test. Ang sobriety check ay sinasagawa sa mga kasong driving under the influence of alcohol or DUI sa pamamagitan ng paglalakad at pagsusuri kung kayang bumalanse ang suspect. Sa exam na ito, hindi pumasa ang suspect. Sunod na isinagawa ang breath analyzer exam para madetermina ang alcohol content sa hininga ng suspect. A deep breath. Sino buka nitong paglaruan ng mga patrol officer at hindi ginawang tamang proseso sa pagbuga sa breath analyzer? Sa resulta ng breath analyzer exam, positibo rin nakainom ang subject. Sa selda ng presinto, matutulog ang suspect sa gabing ito. Kasong DUI ang isasampas sa kanya na posibleng makulong depende sa pagdedetermina kung may dati ng record ang suspect. Officer Thompson had the guy do a couple tests. Didn't even look like he did all the tests. I think he was just refusing to do the, uh, like the walk the line test and it, it didn't look like they went through them all because probably just refused to do them. So then we went to the breathalyzer test, which is usually the last one we do. You saw how many times it took. He was playing games. He was purposely doing it really, really short and small breaths to try to avoid detecting that he's drunk. But the last two breaths he gave, we got enough air in order for uh, us to get an accurate reading. So now he's under arrest for DUI and hit and run now. <laughs>